someone, they said, oh, they don't find out what you are doing. I said, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very willing to share with you anything that I'm doing. I will show you, I will show you all the patterns, I will show you all my strategies, I will tell you everything. That's what you cannot collect. Because in every equation of success that is written, because if, if it was so, rich people have written books, telling you all the steps, why are you not rich? You read all the stories of rich people, you read all the stories of successful of people, why are you not successful? There is a factor in that equation. That thing is not in anything. That thing is very personalized. I can show you everything, I can tell you everything. Are you me? There is a difference. The difference is the grace that I am. I don't know if you understand that. That, that is the difference. That is the one that you cannot copy. That is the one you cannot be. If you have it, you have it. If I have it, I have it. You know? So it is mine. It is, it is so personal. I understand it. I understand it. I have it. Life is at different levels. There are phases in life. But there are distinctions in men. And it's wisdom to know the difference. You know, there are distinctions in men. And what you want to do is to ensure that you are moving from one level of grace to another. Moving from one level of grace to another. It's not okay to be in the same level of grace. Because I found that also in life, your problems graduate. Do you know what I said? Your problems graduate. One of the things that happen to many people is that they are frustrated because problems have graduated, grace have not graduated. You know, problems have graduated. School fees for children in primary school is not school fees, not the same thing as school fees for, for university. You must be here at now. You know? School fees for children in certain universities is one, one year school fees is the school fees that you will use to train 10 children. If they are, it's just too expensive. No, it's because you don't know what they learn in your life. Life is at the level. What you want to do is to ensure that you are increasing grace ahead. If you are increasing grace faster, the life issues are increasing, you will always be fine. You will always be fine. You will find out that before you ask, the answer will be there. You know, before you ask, you, the answer, one of the one of the I, I, I don't even I don't try to think of wanting anything. I try hard not to think of wanting anything. Is it because if I, if I, if I, if I just think it, it is wrong. When you are in the junior class, we tell you, you think it, maybe say that thing that you want, keep thinking on it, keep meditating. A man has gone to a level where he says, I don't want to think. Oh, you didn't hear what I just said now. Now, if he's saying he doesn't want to think, he's just saying, I don't want to talk. You are convincing, Father, in the name of Jesus, that kind of man is a man who says, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to say the car is mine. Because I think the car is mine. I don't know how many cars we show. <laughs> don't you get it? Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. When Jesus was to live here at Lazarus Hall, he was very specific. He was very specific. He didn't say, come out. He said, Lazarus, you particularly come out. Because he didn't even say, come out. It's not been a commotion because everybody has been coming out. Tell so, someone there are levels of grace. Some people, some people want to bring down problems. Some people want to stop problems. You know, you can stop problems, but you can rather dissolve them. Oh, you didn't hear what I said? You can solve a problem. When you solve a problem, you can find a solution. When you dissolve it, the problem loses its power to be a problem. The deal you got is not a problem. 
is an account is very simple. There is some kind of account you will have. That thing that makes you not to sleep. It will never make you not to sleep. Oh, who understands that? It's, it's about capacity. It's about capacity. And what God sends you to do is that He wants you to increase your capacity. You know, He wants you to increase your capacity. I like the way He said in the Old Testament. He says, You used to be a worm. You used to be a worm. He said, I will make you, you know, an instrument with this. You know, a, 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 a threshing instrument. A threshing instrument with teeth. That is the one that used to be the one trying to climb mountains. He said, You become an instrument. You will not stick to the mountains. You will not climb the mountain. You will thrash it. Say they are levels. Come on, say one more time. They are levels. Show you a few things, certain, certain aspects of grace that a man of God shared. Now, before then, I'll give you a definition of grace. I like to give this definition every time I see on this so you can see what the man of God says about grace. Praise God. All right, now that means the grace of God is the divine influence on the heart of a man that is reflected or expressed outwardly. It is the divine influence. The grace of God is the divine influence on the heart of a man and it is reflected or expressed outwardly. In other words, it is the outworking of an inward influence in your heart through God's Word and the Holy Spirit. Now, grace is the power of distinction. Write it down. Grace is the power of distinction. Grace is the mark of distinction. The difference between two Christians who went to the same school who studied the same thing, who came up with the same degree, who worked in the same office, who possibly attend the same church, under the same pastor. The difference between the two of them is the working of grace in one, you know, apart from the other. That means the beauty of your life and the mark of distinction about you as an individual is grace. That means you see, you see, when you understand grace, envy disappears. Envy disappears. Jealousy disappears. 